Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Dom and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how easy it is to parse XML using JavaScript. Now, you can do this natively and you don't need to use any sort of external library. Okay, so I'm going to be showing you two different workflows here. The first workflow is when you have an XML uh, string which you received from user input or something similar and you just want to parse it and inspect the data, loop over it maybe and things like that. And the second workflow is when you want to of course parse that XML but this time from an Ajax request or a fetch request. So both are very similar, it just basically comes down to how you receive that XML data but either way I'll be showing you the Ajax slash fetch example at the end of the video and I just want to show you how to parse XML um, to begin with. So I've got this index HTML right here and we're going to begin by defining an XML string. So like I said earlier I assume you have an XML string which came from somewhere such as user input and you want to parse that. So I'm going to copy and paste this XML string which I prepared earlier. Now you are able to of course copy this and paste it into your own editor if you wish to. Um, I'll leave a link to the source code down below but like I said you probably already have an XML string which looks something like this in your own project or whatever you're working on. So how do we go about parsing this XML string? Well it's very straightforward and we're going to be utilizing something called the DOM parser. So the DOM parser in JavaScript is an object which lets you parse HTML or XML documents. So if we hop down here we're going to say const uh, XML document is equal to a new instance of DOM parser just like that and then we're going to immediately call parse from string. Inside this function we're going to uh, provide the XML string just like that, of course this one up here. Then as a second argument we are also going to say as the uh, mime type text forward slash XML just like that. That way the DOM parser knows that this right here is in fact XML. So now if I was to console.log the XML uh, document constant right here, we're going to see in the browser that this is basically a parsed version of this XML. Go in the browser and we can see here upon a refresh, we have this right here. We can drop down and we can inspect the XML document. Now it's parsed by JavaScript which means now we can call very similar methods that we can on the standard HTML document. Things like query selector are going to work here or even get elements by tag name. So let's loop over these tutorial objects and have a look at how we can of course interact with that data. So we're going to say here a new constant called tutorials equal to XML document dot and you see here you have access to all of these methods and properties. Like I said, much like your standard HTML DOM. So I can say here query selector all. Let's select every single uh, element with a tag name of tutorial. So every single tutorial right there. In this case, of course, two. Now I can say as per usual for of for const tutorial of tutorial so for every single tutorial inside our list here we're going to say const id equal to now to grab the id value out of the tutorial we have to then simply start from the tutorial element and query selector the id so we can say tutorial dot query selector id then say dot text contents to simply grab onto that text content the exact same thing should work for the title just like that now i can say console.log id and then title i'll save this go back in the browser here and we can see we have the id and then the title just like that for both of those tutorial elements so we've successfully taken this xml string parsed it into an XML document, then ran the standard DOM methods on that object to loop through 
and interact with the data that belongs inside of it. So that right there is your simple example. I encourage you to um, explore what methods you have available to you on the XML document by saying XML document dot. And like I said earlier, look at all of these and see what you can do to find your information. Now, that is the first simple example. What if you want to get this data from a fetch request or an Ajax request? I'm only gonna show you the fetch request because of course it's 2023 and fetch is more common and more standard. So I'm gonna show you the fetch request version now. Um, it works in a very similar fashion, but of course, like I said, where the data comes from is where it matters. So let's get rid of all of this constants right up here. And we've got a file called tutorials.xml, which of course is just the same thing, but in a .xml file as opposed to the string. So we're gonna fetch request this tutorials.xml file, and then of course, perform the same action. So we can say here, fetch, fetch the tutorials.xml, just like this. Then we're gonna say dot then, once the response comes back from the server, okay, we're going to then, return response dot text. We're going to interpret this as a text document as opposed to typically with a JSON response, you would say dot JSON. Here we're gonna say dot text. Then once we have the XML uh, string, okay? Because of course it's gonna take your text and then put it inside this variable right here. We can perform all of the same actions, paste that inside there and we should get the exact same result. I'll just save this, go back in the browser, refresh here, and we get the exact same result. Um, inside the network tab, we can see we of course did in fact call that XML document right inside there. We get it responded to us just up here, as we can sort of see on, on you know just below here. And um, yeah, we're basically good to go. So that is how you do that, but with a fetch request as opposed to the standard uh, hard-coded XML string. So that is how to parse XML in JavaScript. Hope this video helped you out. If it did, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video.